Hello internet world, welcome, welcome to a new video on the Geek Noise channel. It's the start of a new week, start of a whole new series of videos this week and it's really great to bring you this review of not one but two Ocean Digital DAB radios. Uh, these are digital broadcast radios. Full disclosure as always they were sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer for this review. I haven't been asked to say anything in particular or nor have they asked to pre-approve this content. So it's just going to be my opinion, my experience with these. And I like DAB radios. Even though we can stream a lot of music nowadays, just turning on the radio in the morning is a really nice feeling. And I've got two. I've got this one here, the DK23, which is a little portable DAB radio. I'm going to show you that one in a second. And I've also got this one, which has got a full color screen on. This is the DK336. Uh, they're both powered by micro USB. So do bear that in mind, you have to plug them in. You get a cable inside the box, but it's micro USB in the back of the radio, and then you plug them into your own USB uh, sort of wall socket or charger, for example. Uh, they've also got a battery in, or in this one anyway, so it does recharge and, and hold a charge and can be used sort of wirelessly. So let's take a closer look at this. Let's just pull the wire around, and we're going to take a closer look at this one first. First of all, the box, as you can see on the box here, it lists some of the specifications. We've got DAB Plus, DAB FM radio, 2.4 inch color display. It's got a built-in rechargeable battery and also three presets. And then this is what the actual radio looks like itself. Uh, you'll see in the top of it at the moment. Let me just put the aerial down. So we have got an aerial that comes out. And let's see if I can just pull this cable a little bit more so that you can see this. So we've got a color display on the front of this one, uh, which is really nice. You can't get it much brighter than it is there. So it is a little bit difficult to see if it was in direct sunlight, but it works and it works well. So what we can do is we can actually uh, tune to select the radio station. And this has already done its scanning. So it's already scanned and picked up all of these radio stations. And for some context, uh, where I'm located, not a very good reception area so the fact that it's picked up all of these is very very good indeed so we can select like a radio station for example BBC Radio 1 Extra and it starts playing it straight away we can also tap the info button it will tell you the signal strength which is even worse at the moment because I've got the aerial put down uh, but we can let's just extend that aerial a little bit to the side and that should go up a little bit <laughs> we've also got a uh, program type which has picked up none and then it says bbc national dab it also tells you the um, uh, sort of tuning uh, details here as well and the bit rate uh, today's date as well and then what's playing so it tells you the actual track that's playing at the moment we've got the presets here we can favorite stations we can put it into standby we can also tap the mode and we can cycle around between DAB and FM. So that's really nice. So you've still got the standard FM radio in here as well. Uh, so plenty of features in here. Uh, the tune select knob also acts as a button. So when we're going through the tuning, we can actually tap it in and it will act as a button as well. On the screen, we've also got the, whether it's stereo, we've got the signal down here as well we've also got a battery meter up the top here and we've also got the time right at the very top as well so let's just go into BBC one extra again and now it says playing uh, I'm not going to play too much because otherwise the video will get hit for copyright but just to show you that it is on and is playing really nicely all weekend on a call so very very nice uh, volume to it that's all you're going to get as an audio demo demo I'm very sorry uh, but even a few seconds of an actual uh, music track will get this video taken down, but very good quality. Very good quality um, uh, speaker here. Really nicely made as well. We've got this matte finish here and a wooden casing to this one. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this off, which is also on the volume knob. We're going to turn this off and actually give you a look around all of the various uh, ports on the back. So we just unplug here. And let's see if that it's got some charge now so it should still turn on yeah so we have still got some uh, some charge in there from the battery so very very cool and we can actually oh it's already picked up the time from the uh, digital broadcast network and then we can actually go into 
if I push, uh, oh, let's push mode, I think it is. Uh, oh, no, it's to take it off standby. That's it. So it's, even though it's turned on, showing the clock is, means it's in standby. And then we can actually go through actually tuning to a different radio station. Let's just go into radio one. And then we can just <coughs> we've got to have the aerial up. <laughs> the beauty of live video. So let's turn this up again now. It's still struggling to pick up that particular station. So let's turn this off and let's give you a little guide around the actual unit. So as you can see, we've got the aerial, which extends to quite a nice length. We've got all of the main buttons on the front there that you saw in action. So we've got the standby mode scan. We've got the tune select button, favorites, info menu, sleep. These are your presets. And then we've got the on, off and volume control. We've got four little rubberized feet on the bottom. Really nice wooden casing to this. And then round on the back here, we've got a DC input for the micro USB. Cable is supplied inside the box. We've got a line out and also a headphone out as well. Uh, really well made, really solid, robust uh, little unit. Uh, these are rotary volume controls for the tune select and the volume are really nice. Uh, in total, using these buttons and, and various other buttons, you can have 20 uh, presets uh, for DAB and FM. Uh, and and the, on the back, the three and a half millimeter and line out is a very useful feature as well. A uh, good sound, Good audio performance from here, uh, a really nice uh, DAB radio. So let's move on and take a look at the second one. So this one here is uh, again DAB plus, DAB uh, and also FM radio on here. I'm just gonna plug this in again via micro USB. So that's now charging, we shall power it on. There we go, so it's now powering on just in the background. We'll let that set up and finish its scanning. Uh, while it's finishing its scanning, I should let you know that this has also got the three preset buttons. Uh, also built-in rechargeable battery, so you can recharge it and use it while you're out and about. Nice and slim and compact. On the side there, it gives you the box contents. A pretty simple box. Uh, the rechargeable battery on both these lasts a reasonable amount of time. I've been quite impressed with the, the battery life on these. And the features across this one are pretty much the same, except it doesn't have a three and a half mil out. So, um, so that is sort of not an issue with this one, but because it's portable, you wouldn't really need that three and a half millimeter output. So let's have a closer look at this. So this is a, a lot more compact unit, as you can see, very very compact. Uh, here, unfortunately, because of the again because of the area I live in, it hasn't picked up any. DAB station, so you do need to be in a good area for it to pick up um, the DAB stations. But a nice display on this one, even though it is monochrome. Uh, we've got preset, we've also got info menu on here as well. Uh, we've got scan. Let's do another scan whilst we're talking. We've also got down and up to go up and down through the various stations, and we've got OK to select them. Nice bright display as well. You can see when you actually push a button, the backlight comes on. And then we've also got on the top here a really nice sort of a uh, volume control very very nice indeed it feels nice really well made uh, we've got presets here as well and we've got a mode button and that also doubles as the power on off button if you hold it in so it has actually picked up uh, some stations now <coughs> Or at least so it had picked up some stations again volume on here is nice it's not as clear as that larger unit but you wouldn't expect it to be uh, but it still is a nice overall volume uh, primarily plastic on this one uh, if we tap the mode button let's just show you that so if we tap the mode button it will actually uh, go to FM and then it should go back around to DAB and it and it has actually picked up a station list so we've got station list there and if we go to OK, we've got BBC Radio 1. We've got Radio 1 Extra, Radio 2. So it's picked up pretty much the same stations as the other radio. You just need to have this aerial fully extended and also in the right sort of orientation for it to pick them up. But a really nice little unit. Again, if I unplug this one, 
uh, from the uh, charger you can see it has got a battery inside so it's still running if we look around on the back here we've got the DC input that micro USB headphones and also a reset switch in there as well and that the aerial sort of clamps back onto the back of the unit there so overall very very nice uh, dab radio really nice give you a little close-up of that screen so it's a nice clear screen as well and these are just ideal if you want to sort of uh, take something like this out and about or if you're traveling and you want something for your hotel room you just want a, a dab radio with you then this is a great choice I think they're both very very good units now the reason I like dab is because it's just instant you haven't got any configuration you haven't got to get your stream going you're just going to turn this on in the morning enjoy some music while you're eating your breakfast it's a great little choice uh, so this one here the smaller one uh, is very good and then I'll give you one last look at this one here the DK336 a more uh, sort of more of a desktop unit this isn't portable although you can you know you can take it with you but this is really uh, destined to be used inside the home and this one's obviously got the full color screen really great little products highly recommended uh, as always I've left links to both of these down in the video description so please do check out those links if you want to pick up one for yourself I've also left a link down there to the Ocean Digital website uh, that's it for this video I want to wish you a fantastic day and a fantastic week ahead this was broadcast live on a Monday if you're not already uh, subscribed please do subscribe I publish a new tech video pretty much every single day thanks for watching everyone I'll see you in another video very very soon